Welcome back to Not So Pro Packer Talk, where we only talk about the Packers. And I am here to tell you that the Packers are playoff bound. Let's go. We just beat the Cowboys. Um, if you've been following the, the Packers for a long time, following the NFL for a long time, you'll know that in the past uh, in the past years where we've been doing bad, when we are look like we're down and out, that there's no way we're going to make the playoffs and we look like a bad team, Aaron Rodgers comes out and says a certain phrase. There's been R-E-L-A-X, relax, don't worry about it. Uh, we're going to be fine. And then there is run the table. We're going to run the table, win seven straight, and make the playoffs. Now. We have from Aaron Rodgers. We're not dead. We are not dead. Even though last week when we lost against the Lions, it looked like we were dead. Um, even I thought we were dead. I made a video last week saying the Packers stink. Um, but now I'm a, I'm a, I'm a believer again. I, I really am. I think I was right last week to think that we were dead with the amount of injuries we just had about how our coaching was going, about um, what, what the Packers offense looked like. I thought we were done for. But this week, I saw a lot of things I liked. Uh, so we're going to quickly recap this uh, this past game and then move on to how I think the Packers are going to make the playoffs because um, I don't think we're dead yet. Um, but it's going to be a tough road. I'll say that right off the bat. It's going to be a tough road ahead. So recapping this game, Aaron Rodgers looked very, very efficient. And you know why I think he was able to do that? Because we ran the ball we finally did it ever since week two we have not been running the ball um we ran the ball week two and it looked great that was one of our best offensive games and then we never did it again um and now we finally did it and we looked really good so what we did running uh rushing we finally gave aaron jones the touches he needs 24 carries 138 yards and a touchdown he did the marshall lynch falling into the end zone that looked so awesome uh, I didn't think it was a beast mode type of run, but I loved what he did. I thought it was awesome. I, I really, really liked it. Um, uh, love that from Aaron Jones. Um, AJ Dillon looked very, very good. He was having, averaging five yards per carry, 13 carries, 65 yards and for a total of, I believe 37. Yeah. 37 carries between the two of them. I love that. I love those tough type of numbers. That's what we need, uh, to be good in my opinion, as far as the offense, uh, putting up points. Um, and with doing that, uh, all those carries, all those running plays, uh, it opened up a lot of the passing game. And we had a huge step up um, from Christian Watson, our rookie second round pick. We traded up in the second round uh, to get him. We basically spent two second round picks to get this guy. And he's been banged up all year. Uh, and when he has been on the field, he's looked very inconsistent. Um, he, has, he had a rushing touchdown. I think it was week three or four. And... And that then he's just been hurt, drop passes, etc. You guys all know the story about Christian Watson. If you've been following the Packers, uh, you've been following the show. Um, and he had a incredible game: 107 yards, four catches for three touchdowns. Guys, that's some Randy Moss type of numbers back when he was a rookie. Uh, when he had three catches for three touchdowns, and I think it was it was more yards than Christian Watson. It was like 160, 170, but still like incredible what Christian Watson did uh three touchdowns that is incredible when uh we were driving down on the the, the that third drive when he got his third touchdown um uh, I was like give it to him again give it to him again and they gave it to him again I was losing my mind I thought it was incredible dude is a deep threat um and I think he has a bright future in this NFL AJ was trying to say yeah I was I I thought he was going to be uh um good right off the bat I, I thought or he said he was going to be a better the best wide receiver option for the Packers other than Alan Lazard and I didn't disagree with him I just thought he was gonna wasn't going to do it until maybe the latter half of the season uh he did it around the midway through the season um and that's because Romeo Dobbs went down and that just gives him more targets Christian Watson um but I'm super happy I can't be more more than excited about for Watson and uh, he he really needed this. He really really needed this, and I can't wait to see what he's got going uh, moving forward. Um, Christian Watson had a huge step up. Alan Lazard had that huge catch in the overtime to set up that field goal. Loved what I saw from offense. Our offensive line is looking very very solid right now. Um, Bakhtiari is looking like in shape. He I don't think he missed any plays. Uh, this past game, if I'm correct in saying that, but I do, I did not hear about him having to come out at any time. So really happy about that. Hopefully that's a continuing trend because that left knee is just so, so weird. 
Um, Jenkins is looking a little shaky still on our left guard, but overall good enough. Center, right guard, solid. All right, tackle. Yash Nyman, who used to be our left tackle behind Bakhtiari, uh, playing in for him when uh, Bakhtiari was hurt. We moved him to right tackle. I wasn't 100%. Cert- I, I wanted that change, but I wasn't 100% certain as, as far as how well he would do in that at that position. But he looked great. Um, he is actually right now out of all tackles, as far as uh, win rate pass blocking, he is number one out of all tackles. All tackles. All right. That is incredible. And he's number, I think it was number two in run blocking uh, win rate. Incredible. Love the guy. He's doing a great, great job. Really proud of him as far as him being able to. He's never played right tackle. We just moved him over there, and he's just been incredible for us. So really, really proud of him. Love the, the, the him stepping up and being able to do that. Very excited about his future as a right tackle uh, in this league. And, hey, uh, we, we he's not under contract for next year, but we have him as a restricted free agent. So he should be back next year. Um, and I think we, uh, he'll sure up that spot for us. So that's offensively. Defensively, guys, I called it like a few weeks ago. I think it was two or three weeks ago. I was like, Darnell Savage is not playing well with their safety. I think our best option as far as safety is Rudy Ford, uh, our backup safety at, after Darnell Savage. And then to move Darnell Savage into that slot role. Uh, and we were able to do that finally. After um, Eric Stokes went out last year, he's out for the season. Um, and we moved uh, uh, Russell Douglas to the outside corner, which is Better for him. He played uh, pretty well. Not incredible. C.D. Lamb uh, made his plays, and uh, also Michael Gallup made some plays also. Um, so we did not, uh, as far as our corners, do incredible. I mean, the Cowboys put up 28 points. We did not do incredible. They got in bad uh, situations because of that uh, punt uh, fumble. Um, but that that's that. But as far as Rudy Ford, what I was saying earlier, I called it last year, um, a, few, a few weeks ago, that they should move uh, Rudy Ford into the safety position. I think he's our best uh, option as far as a safety position, in my opinion. Um, and we did it. Joe Barry listened. He's a big fan of the show, apparently. And he took my words to heart and decided to make that change. And it was a huge change for us. Rudy Ford got two interceptions, picked off Dak Prescott twice, uh, one in the ends uh, the red zone. Um, big, big plays for him. Uh, I'm very, very happy to see that. And Hopefully this is a trend that continues. Um, and then as other offensive things, um, there was basically no pass rush at all, all game long. Um, Kenny Clark had a sack. Adrian almost had a sack. Other than that, Preston Smith didn't do much. He was in on, he affected the ball in a few plays, but other than that, we had no pass rush. So that's very concerning. Rashawn Gary uh, going out uh, is out for the season. I, I knew it was going to be a big uh, impact on uh, on the the pass rush for our defense, and I was right. Um, so it's very concerning moving forward as far as will the Packers be able to continue uh, to um, hit those plays? You know, I I, I don't know. I, I don't know if we can get a pass rush on some of these teams, and that's going to be some of the biggest um, reasons as far as if we could lose games in the future uh, is not having a pass rush. You got to win win up front. So if you can't win up front, it's going to be a long day. It's going to be a long, long day. Uh, rushing defense is looking just as bad as usual all my life. It's been bad. Gosh. Um, but other than that, Packers played a pretty complete game. Um, I think it was one of the most complete games they played. Third quarter was terrible. Let up 14 points. We didn't score anything. Uh, we went into the fourth quarter down 14, which is not something we want to do consistently if we want to win games. Um, so we got to do better at that at that. Uh, you got to play four quarters. It's a four quarter game. You got to play all four quarters. Um, and I called it when I watched. I was watching the game. I was like, I don't think we're gonna come into the third quarter strong, uh, just because that's who we are. That's who we are as a team. And I was right. Hopefully, we can clean that up and be able to four be a, be a four quarter team. Um, but moving forward, we got the Tennessee Titans tomorrow Thursday night football Packers versus Titans. It's gonna be a rough one. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Titans are sitting three right now, and they got a the Packers kryptonite in their backfield, Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry, when we played them two years ago, we limited him to 100, under 100 yards, but I don't know if we can do that again. Um, he is a powerhouse, and 
this Packers run defense has been looking really, really badly. I think I think Derrick Henry can have 100 plus yards, 150 uh, probably, in my opinion. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't happen, but it, it's going to look rough. I still think we can win this game. Um, that Titans defense is very, very good from front to back. They are playing hard. They are playing fast, and I, I, I think we have our uh, work cut out for us. And it's, it's a uh, short week. We don't have a lot of time to prepare for this game. It's going to look rough, but it's in prime time football. I think we can hopefully get some turnovers on defense, just like we did against the Cowboys. Uh, hopefully we get an interception, fumble. We need something to happen there in order for us to win this game, in my opinion, uh, because our offense isn't going to be able to run, uh, run uh, go down 80 yards on the field and put up a touchdown all the time, in my opinion. We may be able to do it one or twice, but uh, we're not going to be able to do it that many times, in my opinion. So hopefully we can get some turnovers, get some short fields, and uh, be able to put up points that way. Other than that, I don't know if uh, if we can't do that. I don't know if we can win this game. But I still have my money on the Packers. I will always pick them. I will always believe in them. Even when we uh, look terrible, I will always pick the Packers. And I will always believe in the Packers to win. Um, so that's how I feel going into this uh, uh, Tennessee Titans game. Now, looking forward into the future, um, as far as the playoff uh, schedule, I'm going to show. I'm going to throw up the playoff uh, right here. Yeah, I'm going to throw it up right here for you guys to see uh, where the Packers rank up against everybody else in the NFC. NFC right now is completely wide open, in my opinion, as far as making it into the wildcard positions. Um, right now, Vikings are 8-1 and one in the NFC North. Um, and at this point, unless they st- lose every game going forward, we're not going to catch up to them. There's no way. Uh, so Vikings, congratulations. You probably won the NFC North. So good job. We'll take it back from you next year. All right. Um, but right now, Packers, if you want to win, uh, if you want to make it to the playoffs, you have to make a wild card uh, position. And right now, we are sitting at number nine, number nine behind the Washington Commanders. And who is it? That seven spot because it taught seven teams make the playoffs right now is the 49ers. 49ers are in that spot. AJ, turn it off. I'm going to talk some, uh, turn off the video. I'm going to talk some bad things about the Niners. Just kidding. Uh, but yeah, the Niners look like a good, solid team. And I think. They probably won't move from that spot too much, in my opinion. Um, Commanders, I think we can beat them in the long haul. So, really, we just got to probably beat the Niners, Cowboys, or Giants. And Giants are 7-2. That's going to be hard. Uh, The Cowboys, if we end up in the same record as them uh, at the end of the year, we do have the playoff. uh, We do have the tiebreaker against them. Um, So, that will... um, We'll we'll be able to beat them out as long as we have the, the, uh, the same record. Um, Niners, we don't play them, so we just have to hope they they uh, lose. I think we can make it. I think we can. I think that I think there's going to be one team in the NFC, in my opinion, that's going to make it into the playoffs with a losing record. And if that can be us, I'm happy with it. All right, you win, you're in. All right, you just need you, you just need to be the hottest team when you hit the playoffs, and you can go all the way. Uh, Bengals were the wild card team last year uh, that ma- made it all the way to the Super Bowl. It's possible, right? Um, it's going to be hard. We're right now. We're basically in the playoffs, right? If we lose any more games, it's going to be very, very hard for us to uh, make the playoffs. I think we can maybe lose one, two. Um, if uh, if the Niners and Cowboys do bad, maybe we lose three. Um, but right now, we're in play of football. We have to win every single game in order for us to make it into the playoffs. If we lose a few more. It's going to be basically over for us, and we do not have an easy schedule. We have the Titans this Thursday. Uh, that's going to be a hard game, and then we have the Eagles next week. That's going to be a hard game. Um, Eagles just lost, so maybe we have a, a chance, but it's going to be a rough game, in, in my opinion, for us um, moving forward uh, to make it into those playoff spots. But hopefully we can do it, I believe, in the Packers. Um, but other than that, uh, make sure you guys follow us on everything NSP uh tiktok twitter all that stuff make sure you guys follow us on all those socials down below join our discord all that stuff um and then other than that check out our sponsorship dubby use code nspft for 10 percent off to get all items merch uh, drink containers the energy drink all that stuff make sure you guys uh, go check it out on the website and get some it's really good uh it doesn't give you the jitters it, it, it's really good stuff so go check that out um for all, all your energy drink needs. Uh, other than that, guys, make sure you guys check up all of our videos. Uh, Niner Talk is coming out on Friday. I mean, you guys want to check that out. That That's an incredible show that AJ puts out. 
And then other than that, make sure you guys subscribe. We're on the, we are right now, as I record this video, we're eight subscribers away from 300. When we hit 300, we will be doing a giveaway, um, either a signed helmet, signed jersey, and we will be giving that out to one of you lucky subscribers. So you guys want to make sure you subscribe and so you can be part of that. Other than that, guys, I'll see you next time. Go Pack Go.